un huracán de París, del Instituto de Jussi, nos va a hablar hoy sobre cómo configuras Shape más o más. Muchas gracias a Javier por la invitación. Es mi segunda vez en la UNA, en esta esta universidad de Bicho. La última vez he hablado en español, pero con experiencia creo que si, si pongo esta vez eh, será penible para mí y para vosotros. Entonces, uh, I switch to English. If you don't mind. Okay. So, uh, I have to Triangles with uh, uh, whose uh, 
sides have uh, 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 the length of all sides are integers. And there are infinitely many solutions, and there's a very clear way to generate these solutions. This goes back to the author. And then uh, Fermat was reading not quite uh, the works of Diophant, but the, uh, the work of Bachet, uh, which is some uh, commentaries on Diophant's work. And after his death, there was a commentary found in the margin of this uh, book, it's famous, which said that uh, there uh, should be no uh, non trivial. Then 
This one was 8 plus 5. And then uh, for n equals 5, and oh, I'll be short, I'll, I'll write for many other primes. Uh, Well, this is uh, Dirichlet.
uh, of these uh, number rings. And so uh, Kumar wanted to really understand what's going on and to see if, if one can go beyond this problem. And then he uh, invented uh, a theory of ideal numbers. So now, uh, what he called ideal numbers, we recognize as divisors. It was not so clear, then uh, it was better explained by uh, Dedekind, uh, who invented the notion of ideal in the rings to explain what, uh, what Kumar was doing. So this works very well, but if you want to go back to the spirit of what Kumar was really doing, the the relevant notion is really that of a divisor, which is a slightly marginal, slightly different from ideal. So, and then uh, for this work, he gets the, the Paris method. He hasn't proven the Fermat's last theorem, but at least he has uh, done some uh, very uh, substantial work. So that's the the start of the, the influence on, of, of Fermat on the development of uh, number the, algebraic number theory and uh, then uh, arithmetic geometry. Uh, so after Kumar, uh, there are many things which happen, but maybe they are not too uh, uh, too relevant. So I just mentioned there's a new prize uh, in 1908. Uh, um, and then uh, in 1921 uh, and 22, uh, Mordel, who is a British mathematician, formulates a conjecture. So, Model's conjecture is that if you take uh, C a curve uh, of genus is 2 over, uh, for him I think it was Q, but it will be over normal field, then uh, C has most. So here I'm using the language of algebraic geometry. So what is a curve from? First, first it's an algebraic curve. Then, uh, 
So algebraic variety means that uh, the uh, equations which show up uh, are given by polynomials. So you can think, for instance, of a closed subset of Rn. Which is a uh, locus of F1 for 0, Fr for 0, and Fi are polynomials. This is a typical algebraic variety for you, so it's a special kind, and it's a fact. That's the uh, and then, uh, if, you, if you heard of the uh, categories, uh, we don't uh, just specify the objects, but also the morphisms. So we want, when we think of algebraic varieties, we don't just want that it can be defined with the algebraic equations, with the polynomials, but if I have another one, y, I only uh, accept as maps from x to y those which are given by polynomials. So it makes, first it makes algebraic geometry much more rigid than uh, uh, differential topology, for instance, differential geometry. And then uh, you can make sense of this over an field. So what is an algebraic curve? So here should be uh, more precise, a smooth project field. So smooth will mean, so algebraic will mean that, okay, maybe I'll start with projective. So you can think of C as a subset of some big projective space, which is defined by by uh, some homogeneous Set of 
y homogeneous coordinates such that e of this y zero is finite. So these are homogeneous coordinates. So This is probably how we formulated uh, this uh, conjecture. And then, uh, if you take P equals uh, Xn plus Yn minus Zn, you take, it's not the same thing. So it's one of the first instances where uh, people started using computers to try and uh, give evidence for the conjecture. That's, that's another way of uh, how Fermat's last theorem influenced uh, the development of mathematics. And then Van Diver uh, formulated, or did not formulate, I don't know, uh, what is called Van Diver's conjectures. Wow. So 
shades Means 
Pisa, the curve of genus one. So if you if you know Riemann surfaces as a Riemann surface means it's uh, just a torus with one rule, and then uh, with a rational point. And then modular, here you have uh, modular curves. So, so here I'm not going to explain the modular curves, but the statement is that if I have any elliptic curve E, which is defined over Q, then uh, I can find a modular curve like this. And a morphism from C to B, which is uh, not constant. So in some sense it tells you that there are not uh, so many elliptic curves over Q, or you can control them in a very uh, uh, strong way. That's the meaning of this conjecture. And, uh, well, people find that this is a, a nice uh, remark, but don't, don't really take it seriously, except for one mathematician whose name is here. Seriously, and then in uh, uh, 1993, was the proof of Oh, it's not quite true. Uh, he, he announced the proof of. Subset of Taniyama Ray, which is sufficient to imply Fermat, but there is a gap. And the gap is filled in 1995 with the help of Taniyama. And so now Fermat is fully proved. And uh, to, um, to do this proof, uh, this is a bit beyond uh, my mathematics, I, I know the best, but uh, Wiles again develops uh, some uh, completely new ideas which are still used uh, now in, in, in arithmetic geometry, like uh, for instance, uh, use of the deformation. And then many other arguments. So this is another example where you have a conjecture which is who cares about the Fermat's uh, equation? It has solution not. It. It's just a challenge. But this challenge creates some uh, fundamental new mathematics. And then after that, uh, these, te these techniques that Wiles uh, uh, developed were used in, maybe you heard of the Langmans program, so it was used for that. And for instance, it helped to prove another conjecture, so called Satellite conjecture. So it's really uh, some uh, very serious impact on mathematics. And then uh, a couple of years after that, the Full Taniyama Bay conjecture was proven by a collection of mathematicians. So that's the end of part of the story. Oops, so now I'm <laughs>
So, the second example is uh, the Riemann hypothesis. Thank you. 
theta of s uh, should correspond to the spectrum of a certain operator And then uh, one should use the properties of these uh, operators to, to prove the human hypothesis. So this is very good, except many people have tried to do this, I think even now, and nobody has been able to, uh, to cook up a Hilbert space and an operator which is this problem. So, what was the point of the uh, Riemann hypothesis? Well, uh, motivation of Riemann was uh, that it gives a control on the time behavior of primes p when p tends to infinity. So it's again a number theory uh, reason. He knew that if this uh, Riemann hypothesis is true, then you know very well how they, they behave, uh, not just in the average, but uh, in the P. Uh, right, let me not get into this. Uh, but why is this? Uh, uh, how did it influence development of mathematics and especially of algebraic geometry? Okay. This is not obvious. So first of all, it got some uh, uh, another difficult conjecture, so it was part of the uh, problems. Uh, Also, one of the uh, subjects to the Clay Prize. Now we come to uh, some completely different world, which is the world of characters P. Uh, one, uh, one and 
times P to the S. Uh, what happens if you take a quadratic extension?
from scratch. Or almost, because at that time, um, algebraic geometry was, uh, didn't have very uh, strong foundations. There was some geometry in uh, the Italian style where you, you had some arguments which uh, looked okay but which were not uh, very rigorous. And then uh, he and Zaisky used commutative algebra to uh, really put uh, strong foundations to algebraic geometry. And also he developed the theory of the million variety. So he did all of this to justify his level and to prove the Riemann hypothesis for curves. So that's, that's another example of uh, how these conjectures influence mathematics <coughs> in a very unexpected way because this is a completely analytic conjecture. We don't see any relation in uh, shape with uh, algebraic geometry, even now. <laughs> but it went through some uh, uh, circuit and give that. Then I don't have much time to say more, but uh, after that Divided by P0 of Q 
minus s p p d of q minus s so the p i are polynomials with uh, integral coefficients so this is factorization um, and so there are two things first uh, if x comes from the complex algebraic variety this then uh, degree of pi should be a dimension of h i of x q so this is a singular combination of x so these are called the Betty numbers and uh, then the demand hypothesis which is the roots of pi should have absolute value q to the i over 2. For a curve, you see you have only p1 and then p0, p2. And if you take p1, you get square root of q, and this is really a current to the demand hypothesis. And, uh, and then it is a hint. On how one could prove this, which is to use something like the Lefschetz trace formula, which is uh, some some way of, which was quite recent to count fixed points of an operator on variety uh, over the complex numbers. It was invented by uh, And uh, this is, even the formulation of the conjecture is completely revolutionary because it treats variety over a finite field, but it connects them with varieties over the complex numbers. Uh, by saying what the topology over the complex numbers should influence the arithmetic over finite fields. And for me, this is really the, uh, the root of uh, the philosophy of motives that will be introduced uh, later. And then, uh, to make a long story short, this developed, uh, gained a lot of algebraic geometry, so it uh, led to the type of homology.